Hey y'all, I'm Tracy Ann. Welcome to Tracy Ann Creations. I'm new here to YouTube and hope that you will join me on my journey. journey. In my videos, you will see DIYs, furniture and our furniture builds, home renovations, trash to treasures, and thrift hauls and lots more. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Share with friends and family so they too can join me on my journey. This is the one that will be given away and I've actually showed, put some flowers in it so you can see different ways that you can decorate in case you don't use a paper plate holder. This one is just has some, um, what do you call that stuff? Lavender. Oh my gosh, that left my brain completely. So I just put some lavender in this one, which is, I think, super, super, super cute. So um, I really like the way this one turned out. So this is the one that's going to be given away. So the rules, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll give you the rules on how to um, enter to win this, and I will mail it to you. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. I started out with these two pots of gold from the Dollar Tree and I struggled taking off the words on there with a butter knife because that's all I had on hand, um, which I ended up having to do a whole lot of sanding to, to fix. And then next I'll see, or you'll see me take some Waverly in ink black paint and that's what I used to paint these with. Um, I gave them just a coat or two not not really full coats but just a coat just enough to kind of cover them before i start with the texture painting that i put on them next all right so next i take my waverly ink paint and because i was almost out of it i put a little water in it and mixed it up and i also added a couple of tablespoons of this uh, textured mix that i bought that actually goes on walls and then I just mixed that up and stirred it until it was not really, really thick, but you can see it's kind of like a chunky cake batter there. And then I just took my brush and dabbed, uh, not painted, but dabbed it all over both of the, the pieces until I completely covered them. Now I just let the pieces dry completely. And next I start working on the letters and I'm going to paint those. And I'm um, actually gonna make those look like galvanized tin. So I just kind of mixed the, some gray and white and black paints um, all in my plate and just dabbed it on until I got the look that I was going for. Now that all my letters have dried, I'm taking some Aileen's Tacky Glue that I got from the Dollar Tree along with a little bit of hot glue to attach my letters to the pot.
Now I'm just taking my foam brush uh, sticks. I always save those for just different projects. And I'm gonna put some wood glue and a little bit of hot glue just to keep them in place while I get all my, my legs on. Now that all that's done, I'm going to take the wood glue and the hot glue and put the other side and attach it together. Look how stinking cute this turned out. I think it's adorable. Looks just like a seasoned pot. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, it's time to make the giveaway prize. Okay, so I'm not going to make y'all sit through be taking all that letters off. And that was just awful so i'm just painting this with my rust-oleum chalk paint and i'm gonna give this actually i think i end up giving it two maybe three coats because i wanted it to be really coated all right so enjoy watching me paint this mess On this one, I'm going to add the word eat. And so I just printed it off on my computer. And this is actually the first time I ever used that um, transfer. I don't I think it's not transfer. I don't know what you call it. That black paper that you write on um, or up under. So I'm, this is my very first time trying that. So let's see how that works out for me. Okay, so I tried this without using the paper. It doesn't work. So you got to actually put the paper up under your words. So let's try it again. I'm just tracing out each letter with um, some kind of little tool that came with the paper when I bought it off of Amazon. If I figure out how to leave a link down below, I will do that for you. Um, but until then, I'll just have to tell you about it. Okay, so it did pretty good. I think I like this so far. I have Waverly's chalk paint and agave, and that's what I'm going to be painting the letters in with.
put this one together, I used some Jingle Blocks. And what I did is I took the wood glue and just kind of painted it on the ends. And if you let that sit for about, I'd say about five minutes, it really does help your wood glue to stick better and you can continue working. All right, now I'm gonna take the other piece and set it on top, and I'm just gonna put um, the things that I have on the table on top of that, just so that to kind of hold it down and let that glue dry. All right, I forgot to push record when I put the other side together, but this thing turned out so stinking cute. I love it. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Now let me tell y'all on how to enter to win this little cutie. All right, so you need to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Um, when we get to 1,000 subscribers and likes and all that stuff, then I will draw one random, randomly draw on this channel one winner for this and I will mail it to you. Um, I will continue to do this each month. I will have different gifts of whatever I create sometimes. Well, as the channel grows, the items will probably be a little bit bigger, but some of the items, of course, I cannot ship because they'll be too heavy. Be sure to share with all your friends and family so we can get to that 1000 mark as soon as possible so like i said just like subscribe leave me a comment and then i will pick a winner on this channel so you guys can see who gets the prize always remember be kind be sweet don't leave any negative comments we don't need those if you don't like my videos that's that's okay just please move along so just always remember to be kind be nice and you know if the world's already got everybody already has burdens to carry so please don't give them yours so god bless and i will see you next time bye